Avila University in Kansas City is a small school with a big mission. Many students are from families at or below the poverty line. Success means graduates live a life far beyond what they imagined. To help donors understand how the library renovation fits into the mission, Avila's president harnessed ICE software. Its powerful video game experience gave donors a preview of the learning commons, showing them how the space will be a physical and dynamic tool to propel education. Well, I think people got excited about the fact that uh, an old, a library was going to uh, turn into a new cool space to study, to learn, to engage with others, to be involved with group learning, to be involved in project-based learning. And so the fly-through helped them get a sense of what will be. Turning this traditional library into a 21st century learning commons over the summer break would take some new thinking. DIRT Custom Prefab Solutions, including plug-and-play power and data running through the DIRT access floor, was the answer. In fact, attempting a conventional renovation would have been impossible, or impossibly expensive, to meet the aggressive budget and schedule. Uh, they typically get this done in one week. Um... I'm not sure that you could get it, I mean, you could get it done with one week, but it would take 20 guys out here versus we've had four guys out here to, in order to plug and play all this. Today, we only have two guys and we'll be, we should be finished with it today on the fourth day. This was the first DIRT Networks installation for the data technicians on the project, yet they surprised even themselves in how quickly they could work. Favorite part about this project I would have to definitely say was the amount of time it took us to actually pull in the, the amount of wire that we pulled in. We pulled in 504 cables in three quarters of a day with four guys. You can't do that just pulling normal cable. The modular power and data supports technology integrated throughout the new learning commons. It's this approach that ensures students can leverage modern tools to support their studies. Well, I think it's a tremendous asset for the university and to the students it says that this is an environment that's really dedicated to your success as a student by providing the facility that has optimal technology, optimal space for interaction to engage students in collaborative learning. Designed with a sense of community, the Commons is open to learning in large groups or small teams and reaching out virtually to others. It's also designed to adapt. As learning practices and technologies evolve, the space can flex to meet them, a prospect that's pleasing to the school's donors. I think donors want to know that they're having a lasting impact on the lives that those facilities serve. And to be able to see how that can change relatively easily so that their facility maintains the pace of the change in modern society, I think is comforting to them. And it's exciting to them when they see the impact on students' lives.